So I have another product review. I have Meguiar's Ultimate Leather Balm. So right here on this panel, I've cleaned it off and I wanted to put something on it, you know, that's gonna protect this leather because it's a little worn. So I picked up some of this Meguiar's Leather Balm and we're gonna apply it on here. We're gonna let it soak in and we're gonna buff it off because it, this says it's a cleaner, a conditioner, and a protectant all in one, which is a big claim. One of the things that I am happy about, I have opened up this jar once already. It's brand new. The smell. It smells like coconuts. So if you like coconuts, you're gonna love this smell. Um, I mean, it, it just smells amazing. And yeah, basically, we're just gonna apply it. It comes with an applicator pad. We're gonna put it on here, like I said. Let it soak in and buff it off. And that way, right now, this is a little worn out. So it's got a very tacky feel to it. So ideally with your leather though, you want it to stay tacky, like um, not tacky, like sticky, but like that you're not sliding off. Because those cheap like armor all stuff like that, that stuff, it's greasy and I, you don't want greasy, especially on a nicer car or any car. Like why do you want grease? So we're gonna apply it, put it on, and I'm hoping this doesn't have that greasy feeling to it and that it's as, it smells as good as it is. Because if it does, then it's a home run. And if it lasts like their wax does, like their ultimate wax, I mean, this stuff will last you literally years because, I mean, it's 5.64 ounces and a very small amount will go a long way because with their ultimate products, just small amount. So let's get started. We, I applied some of the product onto the applicator pad up here at the top, a small amount. Just gonna rub it in like this. I can already tell you it's got a nice high shine. I'm hoping that dulls off a little bit. And like I said, they say you can apply this just straight on. But again, with any leather, you never just want to apply a product just straight on to dirty leather. That to me just doesn't make any sense. So we're going to let it sit, soak in about three minutes or so. Um, just like with any product, you'll feel it like soak in. Uh, if it was black, it'd be easier to see. but this being beige it's a little harder to see let it soak in then I'll come back wipe it off and we'll check and see how it feels and I'll tell you if I like it or not give you an honest opinion about it all right let's get started so I went ahead with the Meguiar's ultimate leather bomb and I put it on this door panel I also put it up here at the top of the door panel and I put it on the steering wheel and one thing I can say is I was looking for that nice, soft texture where it wasn't slimy, it wasn't greasy, and it, it delivered. I'm, I'm surprised. It has some, so it says it has rich cocoa butter in it, that it has some UV protection. So overall, I mean, if this is something you do about once a month with your car, I'm impressed. Nice, nice smell of coconuts in there. And the fact that you can see up here, very matte finish to it. That's the thing, I don't want to... Your leather seats when they're brand new don't have a shiny finish, so why do you want to add that to it? To me, I don't want to add that. I want it to look like it is when you buy it new. Just how it is. Nice matte, flat finish. No grease, no grime. My fingers don't feel like they're sliding on top of each other. The steering wheel that I applied it to feels the same, because that's the thing. Why do you want a slippery steering wheel? You don't. So, overall, I'm happy with it. This is awesome. This is a little pricey though. I want to say this was like $24 or something like that. About the same price as their uh, Ultimate Paste Wax. Or Paste, Ultimate Paste. It's not a wax. That's a paint sealant. But overall I'm impressed. So if it, if it actually performs like that, like that does with uh, it does on the paint, this performs just as well on the interior, you're in for a huge treat. But also again, less is more with this product. Don't don't put too much on because then you're gonna be building it up and they do say you can apply this on a dirty panel but again I would clean the panel with a different product like an all-purpose cleaner and then if it's really dirty a degreaser but again be careful when you're doing all that because a degreaser can have issues with a uh, leather especially like an area like this this is worn down from the elbow resting on it all the time so there's no more grain left in this as there is up here. So, but that's just, uh, you're not gonna see that in most cases. 
So overall though, I do recommend this product. I do love it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.